Today I would like to show you my RC car, which is an uh, RF radio frequency controlled uh, car, controlled by this remote control. Now I disassembled the car, found this uh, motherboard, uh, which contains an RF uh, chip. Then I found the data sheet of that chip, and uh, I found the pins for the motor controllers, the motor drivers on the board here. And then I soldered some wires and the positive and negative from the battery. And then I connected it to an Arduino, to Milano, and uh, the Y shield, which is a Wi-Fi shield. And then I made some software so it's possible to control this RF car, but now using Wi-Fi. So it's still an RF car, but I can control it with the computer. The commands which is sent from the computer to this is using the normal TCP protocol. And it's just uh, some packages containing the different driving commands. The, if it's driving forward, then the speed or turn right and turn left. So uh, let's see this in uh, action. At power, I uh, connect this... Uh, 9 volt battery. Instead of using the battery from the car, which is 6 volt only, uh, it makes some noises too, so the Arduino resets itself. So instead I'm using this 9 volt battery. So uh, if we connect this, we have to uh, wait a moment for the Y shield to initialize the connection with the router. So in the meanwhile, let's take a look at the software part on the computer. This is my uh, tower PC connected through an Ethernet cable to the router, so it's not Wi-Fi connected. But uh, this is the application made in uh, Visual Studio. And if we start it, it uh, shows this screen, and you can set it the speed in the middle, and uh, you have to select this box to control it with uh, the keypad. So uh, let's look, take a look at the the car in action. Now the red light has turned on on the white shield board which indicates that the white shield and the Arduino is connected to the router. So now let's try to uh, to press forward in the application on the computer. Look at that. Then it moves forward and I can use the keypad to control it. And then I can also change the speed. Let's uh, make it a little slower or faster. And the speed thing is done with PVM and on the normal remote control here it doesn't support any speed changes. It's uh, only full throttle forward or full throttle backward. Now, with this, it's possible to make different speeds, so uh, it's great. Now, uh, I'll uh, turn on my laptop so you can see uh, the laptop besides the uh, car in action, so you can see that it is working with the Wi-Fi connection. Last but not least, here's my laptop with the application running. So, uh, let's try to, uh, to just press the forward button and the backward so yeah and then if we select this box we can use the keypad yeah so uh that's it for now, but uh, this is a great RF hacking mod, and if any of you guys is interested in the, the mod on this bot, please uh, contact me. TKJ Production.